Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. So today I have a Dollar General Penny Haul for May and June. I was going to sit down and do like a separate video for each month but I figured I might as well combine them because I didn't really get a whole lot in June and so I thought I'll just combine what I have and share it with y'all. So to start off I got I think it was like the beginning of May or like the second, second week of May that they had a bunch of the, like the Benden books that Penny and they were mostly like the learning ones. Um, they had a lot of these Imagine Ink that Penny. Um, they had, I did have like colors and shapes and then um, another one I think, but I'm down to just like alphabet and numbers now. And my little girl has absolutely loved these. They're like the Imagine Ink. These are great for her in church or riding in the car because they don't make messes and it's just something to keep her occupied. And for a penny, you cannot beat it. So it has been a great like summer thing to keep her busy. So, and then I did get a lot of like the little flashcards. They were not actually part of the, they were the same like thing that Penny all the same time, but they weren't the Benden brand. But they had, let's see here, numbers, subtraction, first words, and then addition. And I gave a bunch of them away to people, but I did keep some for my kids to do like through the summer months and stuff to play with. I did get some of these play packs. I think I got about five of these. Well, my little girl has literally like used all of them. So I don't know. I think this is the only one I have left. Um, I'll have to check the box, but I'm pretty sure it's the only one I have left. But they're like the little grab and go packs. And these are great for traveling as well. They have little stickers and crowns and then like a little coloring book. And she absolutely loves these. So when we're traveling, I just kind of throw them in the car to keep her occupied. I did get some coloring books. Um, I did find probably about eight coloring books, I think, and they were all the same. I just found Trolls, and then I found the Frozen. And I did find a random Christmas one that was in there with it, but it was also a penny. These are the only two I have left that haven't been colored all through because my little girl just likes to color every page. Like, it's only got one little stripe of crown in it or something, but she loves to color them. So, those have been used up. I think I have three left. <laughs> and then, I think that's all for that. I did get some of these. They pennied around the same time as those books pennied, and they were surprise pennies, so penny. Um, but these are great if you get a lot of penny items and you keep these, you were able to find these for a penny too, it's great because then you can do a yard sale to sell your penny items that you don't use or give away or um, use as gifts or whatever. And I found probably about 15 packs of these. It's um, foil paper, and it's just got like a gold, silver, pink, and I think it had like a copper in there too somewhere that was real pretty I thought for fall this would be really pretty but anyway I got about 15 of these and I just kept one and gave the rest of them to my boys school thought they'd be great for their bulletin boards and things like that that they have to decorate so I donated those and then I did find if you're familiar with penny items or you keep up with the list uh, they did have some big black poster boards that had like gold edging around it I did find four of those I think and I also donated those donated those to my boys school um, for them to use as bulletin boards and things like that. So I don't have those to show you. I actually got like three Easter things before they pennied. I got them when they were 90%. Um, these baskets were part of the Easter. You can see right here it says Happy Easter on the tag. And these were 90% off. So I got the big one for $1.40. And then the smaller one that's on the inside, I got it for $1.20. Um, so I didn't wait till these penny just because things like this... Um, they go really fast, things that you can use for every day that are not just holiday related. And if I would have waited till they were penny, they wouldn't have been there. So I went ahead and got them at 90% off. I said, I can't go to the Goodwill and buy a basket, you know, a nice basket like this for my daughter's room for a dollar, even from the thrift store. So I went ahead and picked those up when they were 90%. Um, I did get something else I forgot that <laughs> was 90% off Easter. Um, it was included in the Easter stuff. And I've actually found some of these since then. So if you're confused, I'm confused too. Um, if you penny shop, these are Easter. They have the blue Easter tag on them right there. And when I found them, it was said Easter, you know, was supposed to be 90% off. And I really wanted these for spring um, for one of my bedrooms, but I didn't buy them, you know, full price or whatever. And so I waited and so I thought I'll get them when they're 90% off. Well, when I got them, this one rang up 80 cents. This one rang up full price. Of course, the cashier that I went um, at the store I was at, she knows me. She's really nice. She always, you know, 
changes things for me if it's not ringing up right. And so she changed it for me. Well, later on that day, I found the same ones. And I thought, well, I'll grab them and give them to somebody, you know. Well, they ring up full price. And I have found some in stores since then. And these are still ringing up full price. So I guess they're, ex you know, excluded. But I got them for 90% off. So that worked out for me. <laughs> I'm not uh, sorry for anybody else who wanted these and wasn't able to get them for that price. Because I have found several sets of them since then. And they're still ringing up full price. And I don't know if you're familiar with Pop Shelf. I have done some videos on Pop Shelf um, on my channel. I can link some in the description box if you're not familiar with it. But it's very, it's um, more like high-end upscale Dollar General. They are actually a sister store to Dollar General. And I know they do not have them in every state yet, but they're putting a lot of them up. So if you haven't checked, maybe check in your area just to see if you do have one because they're putting a lot of them up. And they, their stuff relates to the same as Dollar General as far as their sales. So like when Dollar General Penny, um, Dollar General went to 90% off Easter, Pop Shelf did as well. So I went there to see what they had for Easter and they had these copper mules, which I have been wanting some of these, but these, I may ensure, insert, I can't talk today, insert a picture of the tablescape that I wanted to do for fall last year with these. And I was not paying the price that these things are, um, even at Hobby Lobby on sale, they were pretty, pretty expensive. And I needed like four to six, you know, to do my tablescapes. So I was like, no, I ain't going to do that. It's not a necessity. It's not something I have to have. So I waited and I'm glad I did because they had them in their Easter decor for 90% off. So these are normally $8 a piece and I got them for 80 cents a piece. And so I was thrilled about that because I actually wanted to do a tablescape for fall and Christmas that had these. And I was so excited to get these. So I've got four of these for 80 cents a piece. I was excited about that. Now on to Easter. When Easter Penny, I did find a good bit of stuff. Most of it was at one store too. Because I went to like three stores, I believe. And two stores, I didn't find a thing. I walked into one store. There was a whole entire shelf of Easter that nobody had touched. They apparently did not even think about moving it or whatever. It was all there together. I didn't even have to look, like search for it. Like, you know, if you penny shop, you know, sometimes it can be like, a, like scavenger hunt to find things but no not for me i walked in the store there was a whole entire shelf of easter they hadn't even touched so i just grabbed all of it because if you penny shop you will learn that it's not necessarily me being greedy it's the fact that they will go and take what you don't take and they will throw it in the dumpster that's what they're supposed to do that's what they're um, supposed to do before it pennies and get it off the shelf i'd much rather grab it and give it to somebody who might like it or turn it into something else than just seeing it thrown in the garbage. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna do that and give it to somebody who can use it. So I did find a bunch of these like little craft kit things, these DIY mini signs. I found a little bunny one. They had a little truck one. And then there was a, like a little gnome bunny. I thought it was really cute. These are great to grab and give your, your um, kids teachers around that holiday, Easter, Christmas, whatever, if you get these. These are great for them because they love to do like little crafts with their kids and this just saves them money having to try to go out and buy things. So anytime I see they, these, I grab them because these are great gifts, like great things to give your teacher to do with the kids for the holidays. And then I also found like a big pack of these um, DIY foam shapes with uh, crosses. And so I will probably donate those to my boys' school. I think I got about 15 of those for a penny. So I will give those to them as well. Like around that holiday, I'll save them and keep them in my Easter box and get them out and give to them when they get closer to Easter. Okay, and then I did find a lot of decor. Um, I found this sign. Well, this is a wreath. <laughs> I found this wreath I thought was really pretty. I, these beads are expensive. If you go to like Hobby Lobby and buy a wreath kind of like this, it's expensive. So to get this for a penny was a great deal. I can easily tear off the bunny, tear off this like cheap, kind of chintzy you know greenery and turn this into something really pretty and give us a gift or use in my own home so when you get stuff like this if you're not able to give it away to somebody think outside the box of what you can do with it um, to turn it into something you can use for your home or to give as a gift Christmas is coming up this would be a really pretty like like a wreath that you can make for somebody for every day that they could use all season long you could take this off and put some really nice greenery a real pretty bow just change it into what you want it to be. And for a penny, you can't beat it. That's a great thing to have to start with um, to turn into something. All right, I also found this little bunny. I don't really decorate with like the Easter bunny because to me, that's not what Easter is about. 
but I do like to decorate with some cute like little, you know, realistic looking bunnies um, for spring and things because we live in the country. So we have little bunnies jump around everywhere in the spring. And so I do like to decorate with them. I thought you could either, you know, use it this way if you want, or you could turn around and just be like a real neutral little bunny to decorate with spring. Um, or I may give it away to somebody. It's normally $5. Again, I got it for a penny. I did find a lot of other stuff that I already gave away to my um, husband's grandma. She loves to decorate for all the seasons. Well, the main ones like Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving, things like that. Fall. So I gave her a bunch of stuff already. Some of them I did have duplicates of like this little sign. I'm here for the jelly beans. Um, I don't, like I said, decorate with this kind of style <laughs> at all. But I thought it easy to just paint over this. And put like a cute little pumpkin on it for fall to put on your tear tray or do like um for a gift and put like family of five family of four like they do on etsy you can do a lot of different things with this little sign and for a penny you can make a cute little gift with it and the same with this one um it says hello spring I'm not a fan of this not really a fan of these colors um i will probably more than likely just like paint it white and use it in my spring decor and then of course paint the side white as well Okay, so then I did find two of these signs. These are really nicely made. Um, again, I don't decorate with the bunny, so I'll probably take this bunny off and then like paint over this. And you can either make it into a gift, like um, the, fa the black family's last name and establish what year they were married and make like a nice gift with that. Or you could turn it into like a seasonal sign, you know, where you could use it for like fall, you put like pumpkins, pumpkin farm this way with a little arrow and just, you know, go over top of this. You could use a Cricut if you have that, or you can get stencils. Um, you can buy vinyl to put over it. So there's a lot of different things you could do with this. And it is a really nice sign to work with. And then I ended up getting two of these. So those will probably be used for gifts, honestly. Sign here. It says, Happy Easter. And it's got like a little kickstand on the back so that you can set it, you know, in a corner of your house or you can use it on your porch, wherever. I will probably take the little bunny ears off and put like a real pretty bow at the top um, and just do that with it. I may even paint the pink. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of the pink. I do decorate with some pink for Easter and things like that, but I may paint it and make it more, you know, neutral. I don't know. You could even do it in black, whatever colors you, you know, want. For a penny, you can make it your own. <laughs> So I found that as well. Okay, on to more Easter. I did get I did get two of these again. I gave one to my husband's grandmother. Again, I gave her a bunch of different things. Um, gave her some like hand towels and things like that and this. And another thing, this is a really nice wood sign. You could easily, like I said, paint over this and put like pumpkins this way, pumpkin farm, Christmas tree farm, anything. And turn it into whatever you want you know for a penny you can make a cute little sign with that the orchid i believe that these are called i don't know i didn't really care about the flower because it's kind of chintzy looking but i thought the pot was really pretty and these rocks and stuff in here you can use and put on a different thing but i will probably more than likely just pull this out and plant um like a house plant in this um i had one in my daughter's room that someone gave me when she was born and she broke the pot so i may get her another one to put in um put this put that plant in this pot here because i've had it in like another plot that's not really pretty and don't really match her room so i might just transfer that but that is normally 12 dollars. i got two more things that are easter related and i think that's it for easter i found these wreaths i found two of them and honestly i'm not a fan of these i mean it's it is a pretty wreath for a penny don't get me wrong you could easily use this and not do a thing to it, you know, if you wanted to. But I do like a lot of fly arranging and things like that. So to me, this is very kind of like chintzy looking, even to get it for a penny. So for myself, I'm probably gonna pull out these like chintzy flowers and put some nice flowers that I have in here um, and make it into whatever I need it. Or even, this is a nice wreath. These like wreath forms, these like um, dried, I don't know what they're called, but anyway. They can get expensive to buy. So you can take this out and make you like a fall wreath, make you an everyday wreath, um, just whatever. Or you could give it to somebody who liked it just like this. But for myself, I will probably turn it into something totally different. Use some nice ribbon, put a pretty bow on it and use some different um, florals. Just because these are really kind of chintzy. Like if you can see this one here, it's like completely falling apart. It's just not, and there's like glue all over this one. So it's just not the nicest quality for myself, but you could easily use it if you wanted to 
for spring and not even full with anything to it. So I found the pink one and then I did find, I also found the white one as well. And these were a penny. They were ringing up 20. These are normally $20. I would not pay $20 for this wreath, to be honest. Um, the only thing that's of value to me is like the actual wreath form and they fall apart really easily. So um, even that I wouldn't pay more than like maybe $10 for it. So to get it for a penny, it was a good deal. I would not pay $20 for it. All right, on to the following week after Easter pennied, I believe it was gray dot. So I did find some gray dot. I didn't find as much as I was wanting to find, but I did find a lot of things that I can use for gifts for Christmas because it's like the winter, um, winter wear. So I found a ton, a ton of these socks. And so I will probably give a lot to ways to family and friends and things like that. These are great to give as gifts, teachers gifts, all kinds of different things. But like this set has two in it. I got those, I got these little sloth ones, little fox. Um, found some like leopard print ones. I think these were a two pack. My son's already stole the black ones out of it. Found a bunch of gloves. I made some really cute um, little gifts for my kids classmates last year where you put chocolate in it like a bar of chocolate and then you make it into like a little snowman. It was but so I used a bunch of the ones I got the year before for a penny for that, but you could also give these away to family members and give them as gifts or do like I did for classmates. I found some of these boot socks. I found a couple pairs of those, I believe. I found some like little boys, which these will probably go to my nephews. I should have taken these. I was just in West Virginia for, um, 4th of July, but if not, I will take them when we go for Thanksgiving and give them to them. I have several little nephews that they could wear these. I found more. I got probably, I don't know, probably 25 pairs of socks like this where it comes with two packs. So these are great to give as gifts um, for grandparents, teachers, all kinds of stuff. So when you get them for a penny, it's nice. Did find like these little girls pair of slippers, size 12 to 13. Those will probably go to one of my nieces because they're too big for my daughter. Uh, another pack of those. I think most of them, there's a little, here's a little llama pair, a little penguin, more of those boot socks, more of these. Um, these have like little pandas on them and polka dots. More of those like boot socks, ladies boot socks for sizes four through 10. Those are great if you wear boots a lot in the winter to like wear high, you know, socks so that your legs don't rub on them high boots. Um, black polka dot, gray polka dot. I think that's about it. And I got several more pairs of these. So I'm not gonna show you all of the same ones over and over again. Then I found a whole entire box of these like lounge socks that are real thick fuzzy but I think I had about like seven or eight pairs of those and they're I don't even know five dollars a piece so I don't even I didn't add up this time how much money I saved but I'm sure it was probably close to about I would say probably about four hundred or five hundred dollars that you know of items that I got I just have I got like two items for brown dot when brown dot pennied I only got two things I did get multiple of these things I found like four of these, I think. And as you can see, they're brown dot. I found like four of these. I gave some away to family. And then I did find a couple of these trays. These were part of the brown dot as well. That is all that I have for today. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Um, I may include a video later on of some of these things that I changed over from like the Easter items and I like transformed them into something else for a season or for a gift or whatever, I may share that with you later. If you're interested in that kind of video, let me know down in the comments and I'd to like share that with you, how I transform some of my penny items that are for seasons and transform into gifts or to use in my home. Um, I may do a video like that. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in a video like that. But I think that's all that I have for today. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all have a blessed day and I will see you in the next one.